On the second problem here, it says no state plan do conclude is needed. Here's the information we have. A simple random sample of birth weights um, yields a sample mean of 3,444. So that's X bar right there. It's a sample mean. But it also says the standard deviation of all birth weights is 495. This is sigma because it's referring to the standard deviation of the population. So on the first, on the first one here, we're going to use a sample size of 75 and construct a 95% confidence interval. Now, because sigma is known, the population standard deviation, we're going to use z intervals in this case. So to do this, you push the stat button on your calculator. So push stat, scroll over to test, and it might be in this menu right now where it says data. Um, we're not going to use that. We're going to go right to the stats menu where we enter statistics in. Oh, I'm sorry, I pushed the wrong function here. So go to Z interval. That's the right one, not Z test. And go to stats. Now the population standard deviation is 495. The sample mean is 3,444. And we'll put the sample size as 75. And let's see, 95% confidence level. So our, our C level is 95. All right, so here is our interval. So let's write that down. Three, 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 two, three, five, five, six. So 3,332 to 3,556. Now in part B of the problem here, it says what if your sample size was 75,000? So a thousand times greater than our original sample. So I'm gonna go back to my Z interval menu and change the sample size from 75 to 75,000. And I get this new interval, 3,440 and a half to 3,447 and a half. Now when looking at these two intervals, this one goes from 3,332 to 3,556. So that's, I mean, that's about 200 and some change. Down here, we go from 3,440 to 3,447. So that's seven. So part C deals with what happened there. Which of the preceding intervals is wider? Well, the wider interval is obviously A. A is wider. Then it asks why. Well, if we look at how these intervals are constructed, you take the sample mean and then you add and subtract the margin of error. And write ME right here. The margin of error is made up of two things. Z star, this is the critical value. And the standard error, which in this case is sigma over the square root of n. So margin of error is the product of the critical value and the standard error. So those two things combined. So the sample means the same in either case. So what actually caused A to be a wider interval? To be a wider interval, the margin of error would have to be a larger number. So when you add and subtract, it creates a larger interval. So the only thing that changed is in the first problem, this was 75. And in the second problem, this was 75,000. So sigma was the same in either problem. And if you divide it by the square root of 75, you get a number. But if you divide it by the square root of 75,000, you get a much smaller number because you're dividing the same sigma by a larger value. So which is larger? Um, A is wider and Y, the larger sample size caused the standard error to decrease in part B. So the margin of error was less, or the margin of error was smaller.
and therefore the interval was narrower. That's it.